Rock for Yahweh, Rock for Yahweh Shai, Rock for Yahweh, Rock for Yahweh Shai, Rock for Yahweh, Rock for Yahweh Shai. I right, to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. I like to give double honors to apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well for preaching the hundred percent truth in season out of season, according to Mosai's will, the correct doctrine. Giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice for the Mosai's sake, which is a reasonable service. Shalom goes out to you. Alright, double honors goes out to you. I like to say Shalom, which is peace to the hopeful elect. The sincere Akim of uh, the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. Starting off the 144,000 down to one third of all Israelites who will receive salvation out of America once the destruction comes, which is near. All right. I say Shalom to the sincere Israelite foreigners were scattered across the globe who look like different heathen nations. But through your seed line, you go back to Israelite man. And your spirit bears witness that you're Israelite because you can accept this word. Shalom goes out to you. I have to give more praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kakadash, for allowing me to do another video to the Holy Spirit. In this video, the topic, all right, it's going to be on Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. All right. Because majority of people in this planet don't have the proper understanding of this scripture when it says thou shalt not kill. Okay. They read it and it says thou shalt not kill. All right. And they, and they, um, they perceive the understanding to be that you cannot put anything to death, all right? You can't kill nobody for any circumstance, all right? You can't put anything to death, all right? But that's not true, all right? Because the Most High, all right, there's certain penalties for breaking his law, statutes, commandments, all right? When the Israelites broke, all right, certain laws, all right? The penalty was death, all right, to be put to death, all right. When Israel had to go to war, all right, with a different heathen nation, all right, they were putting other people to death, all right, killing people. The most I told, all right, his Israel, his uh, um, the Israelites, all right, when they go out to war, all right, slay your enemies, all right, utterly destroy them, all right. So is this a contradiction? All right. No. Okay. Because this word, when it says thou shalt not kill, okay, it should be thou shalt not murder. All right. Because murder and kill are two different words. All right. But people put it into the same thing, like it's the same thing when you murder and when you kill. All right. So it says thou shalt not kill. All right, the Hebrew word. Strong's H, 7523, Ratzach, Ratzach. So in the Hebrew, it's Ratazak. All right, Ratazak. Okay. And it's to murder. That's the first thing that comes up. It says slay, kill, to murder. Slay, premeditated. It says accidental as avenger slayer to be slain. All right. It says to murder, assassinate, murder, assassin to be killed. All right. So the main point is when it says to murder, it says premeditated. All right. Thou shalt not murder. Okay. If you go to the definition of murder, it'll say the unlawful premeditating killing of one human being by another. And this is what Google has, all right? 
an easeful system in his court system, all right, the unlawful killing, like the premeditated killing, okay, that's murder, okay, in his system. And it's the same thing for the most high um, laws of the universe, all right? The Israelites are not supposed to murder their fellow tribes, tribesmen, their brother, okay? Just like blacks on black crime, Hispanic on Hispanic crime, all right? That's against the law, all right? You're not supposed to murder someone for no reason, all right? He, some, another black looks at you funny, and you just kill him, all right? You don't like the uh, another black Hispanic, all right? And so you just you plan a uh, um, you you make up a plan to kill him, all right? Assassinate him, all right? Most of us not dealing with that. That's wicked, all right? That's murder. Murdering your own family, which is the nation of Israel, okay? But to kill, the most high has certain uh, um, circumstances when you must kill, all right? When you go to war, all right? When you put people to death, all right? It's your job to kill them, all right? So you have to defend yourself, all right? Okay, with a different with people... All right, um, heathens just trying to jump you or something. All right, you're you're allowed to kill. All right, put them to death. All right, you have a right to defend yourself. Okay. The wicked Israelites. All right, they premeditated. Okay, it says premeditated definition. Think out, think out or plan an action, especially a crime beforehand. That's what wicked Israelites do, all right? The biggest, right, premeditated um, killing and murder is the so-called white man, all right? Because he's premeditating, all right, um, depopulizing, all right, this world, okay? These people as his new world order, okay? So he's the biggest murderer, all right, rapist, um, wicked person, all right, the so-called white man, the Edomites, starting with the elites, okay? okay. But you wicked Israelites, all right, uh, uh, a Jake will step on your shoe, and then you, you shoot him in the face, all right? It's supposed to be eye for eye, tooth for a tooth, life for a life, okay? It's supposed to be fair, equal, just, all right, in the eyes of the Most High, Okay? Not just going to on a killing spree, all right, murdering your fellow brothers. That's going off. That's wicked, all right? But when you have to kill, all right, if you have to defend yourself against enemies, all right, when you have to go to war, all right, when you have to put someone to death for breaking the law, all right, when you have to back, uh, um, when the Israelites had to slay animals, all right, that was killing, okay? So is that breaking the law? All right, no, okay. Because thou shalt not murder, all right? Hebrew word ratazak, all right? So this is First Samuel chapter 15 and verse one. It says, I'm gonna start at two. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek. So this is the most high telling Saul what to do. All right. It's the Lord. All right. All right. Through Samuel. Okay. It says, now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have they have, and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. All right. So this is the Lord. All right. Okay. Speaking to the prophet. All right. Samuel. Okay. To Saul. All right. Telling. Okay. Saul what to do. All right. Go smite Amalek. All right. Utterly destroy them. And spare not, slay both man and woman, infant, suckling, 
ox and sheep came on ass. So slay everything with life. All right. So that's the most high. That's the most what the most high wants. Right. So that's killing. Okay, but it's not murder. All right. The word should be thou shalt not murder. All right. But it says kill. Okay, so people, majority of these people have a different understanding, all right? Because they haven't given, they don't have the light, all right? If you check up, put to death in the scriptures, all right? It says, he that smiteth a man so that he die shall surely be put to death. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And he that stealeth a man and sell him or if he be found in his hands shall surely be put to death. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. All right. So there's certain things you do. All right. And consequences. All right. To breaking the laws of the Most High, he be put to death. All right. So plain and simple, the Most High has certain circumstances. Circumstances when you must kill. All right. But not murder. That's against the laws of the Most High. This is First Thessalonians one and six, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right, to recompense tribulation, to pay back. All right, get revenge on them that trouble you. Okay, the Lord is coming back to kill. All right, to get revenge. All right, we're waiting on the Lord. All right, so He, all right, to, for Him to save us, so He can get His revenge, because revenge is His. All right. And he's going to slay a lot of people, kill. All right. And it's lawful. It's just. All right. It's righteous. Okay. This is it Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is a man of war. Okay. Yahweh Shem Shai is his name. Okay. So Yahweh is a man of the war, who the world calls the creator, the most high. He's a man of war, okay? What happens in war? Killing, mass death, all right? It's Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay. So the Lord is going to slay a lot of people. Who the world called Jesus Christ. Real name is Yahweh Shai. He's coming back to slay a bunch of wicked people. All right. Edomites, heathens. Okay. And destroy this place. Destroy America. All right. So that's what's coming. Okay. That's what's coming. All right. So when it says thou shalt not kill. All right, it should be thou shalt not murder. All right, killing and murder is the, the two different things. All right, and this law is only, and these laws are only given to the Israelites, so it only pertains to the Israelites. Okay, thou shalt not murder your fellow tribesmen. Okay, okay, because he's your brother. All right, it doesn't pertain to a Moabite, thou shalt not murder his fellow. Um, Moabite brother, okay? The Most High doesn't care what these heathens do, all right? He's not, he's not, that's not his nation, okay? He's just gonna, he's just waiting to, to put them into, into slavery, all right? All right, he doesn't care about the heathens. They're less than nothing, all right? He's gonna, right, um, utterly destroy them, all right? But their lifestyle, their, their um, wicked ways, the Most High's not dealing with them, all right? Okay, he's just going to round them all up and put them in slavery, these different heathen nations, all right? Because they're just, they're just wicked, all right? That's how they're designed, all right? So I have to give all praise, honor, and infant glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Hope this video is edifying, and shalom.